when we apply side spin during game, we do it in two ways. We are using front-hand English and back-hand English. If you want to find out what these two systems are and how we can use them during our game, you definitely need to watch this episode till the end. And this will be second part of two videos about aiming with side spin in pool. First part you can find on the top of your screen. At the beginning of this pool lesson I need to explain you what is backhand and fronthand English and what impact it has on shot with side spin. In next way I will show you when you can use these two side spin systems and at the end I will compare a few shots examples to understand when use backhand and when fronthand English. As you can see, if you are aiming on baseline with right spin, then cue ball will deflect on the left, and if we use more power, then deflection will be higher. So, if we play shot with side spin, we need to think how we can adjust our aiming to hit object ball in right point. If you want to apply right spin without moving your cue and make this shot with a lot of power, then cue ball will deflect to the left and you will miss this shot to the right. And in first way we can apply side spin using backhand English. You need to aim object ball on the center point of the pocket using center ball. And then you can apply right spin by moving your cue and arm to the inside without moving your bridge. And if we move our cue to the right, then aiming line change position to the right too, but the deflection pushes the cue ball back to the right line. Ok, but really important in this kind of aiming is length of our bridge. Perfect length of bridge is almost 1 feet and then backhand English is working really natural because if we play using wooden shaft with high deflection and we apply right spin on the cue ball with BHE then aiming line will be in point as you can see on this animation but the deflection will push the cue ball back on previous line. Situation is little bit odder when we using low deflection carbon fiber shaft and then if we apply side spin in the same way, then cue ball will deflect less to the left and hits the object ball in other point than before. If we are too close to the cue ball and we apply backhand English, then my aiming line will be more away from the center line and if I hit the cue ball using both shafts then I will miss both shots because the flexion will push the cue ball but not enough to hit object ball in right point. But if we use too long bridge around 1.5 diamonds and apply BHE on the cue ball, then you can see that aiming line is not too far from center line and if we hit the cue ball using high deflection shaft, then contact point with object ball will be on the center point. But if we change shaft to low deflection and apply BHE, then cue ball deflect less to the left and we hit the object ball almost in center point and we will be able to pot this ball. And we can apply spin in second way which is called fronthand English and in this way we need to move our bridge without moving our grip. And this time we have much more simple situation because if we apply right spin with move our bridge to the right, then aiming line will not be too far from center line of this shot and if we use wooden shaft then we missed object ball a lot to the right. 
situation will be almost similar when we use low deflection carbon fiber shaft because cubal will deflect to the left, but less than before, but not enough to hit object ball in right point, and we still will miss this ball. Ok, but there is another really important factor like speed of shot. This how much speed we will use has huge impact on level of deflection and on path of cue ball after shot. And if we play using backhand English and classic bridge and we use low amount of speed then cue ball make little curve and will hit object ball in other place than using high speed shot. And to pot this ball using low speed shot, we need to apply front hand English because cue ball will make little curve, but will come back on the right line and will hit object ball in right point. Of course, really important in low speed shots is length of bridge, but only on backhand English because if we using short bridge, then cue ball will make more curve. But if we will use long bridge, then cue ball will go almost on straight line and we will be able to pot this ball. Ok, and analyzing backhand English and fronthand English using different amount of speed, we can say that when we have low distance and high speed shot, then we can use backhand English. But if we have long distance and low speed shots, then we should use fronthand English. Ok guys, but really difficult is find a connection between BHE and FHE in one shot. And now I will demonstrate my own comparison of different distance and different speed shots to understand how much BHE and FHE you should use on each shot using shafts with different deflection. And now you can see situation on table and I will play this one single shot and will use different speeds on different distances between balls. In first step I will play short distance shot, high speed shot using low deflection shaft. You need to use 80% BHE and 20% FHE. And same speed shot using high deflection shaft. 95% BHE and 5% FHE. Ok, and now short distance shot with medium speed and low deflection shaft. You need to use 70% BHE and 30% FHE. And same shot but using high deflection shaft. 85% BHE and 15% FHE. And now short distance shot with low speed and low deflection shaft. 50% BHE and 50% FHE. And with high deflection shaft you need to use 70% BHE and 30% FHE. Ok, and now it's time for medium distance shots. In first step I will play high speed shot using low deflection shaft. You need to use 70% BHE and 30% FHE. And with high deflection shaft you need to use 90% BHE and 10% FHE. In medium speed shot and using low deflection shaft we need 60% BHE and 40% FHE. But if we use high deflection shaft then we need 80% BHE and 20% FHE. And using low speed shot and low deflection shaft we should apply 35% BHE and 65% FHE. And using high deflection shaft you need 65% BHE and 35% FHE. Ok, and finally I would like to take a look on long distance shots. In first step I will use high speed shot and low deflection shaft. 
you need to use 65% BHE and 35% FHE. And with high deflection shaft you need to use 80% BHE and 20% FHE. On medium speed shot using low deflection shaft you need to apply 50% BHE and 50% FHE. But using high deflection shaft you need to apply 70% BHE and 30% FHE. And in last step I will play long distance shot using low speed and low deflection shaft. And you need to use 20% BHE and 80% FHE. And using high deflection shaft we need 60% BHE and 40% FHE. Ok guys, as you can see aiming using backhand English and fronthand English system in pool is really difficult and require from us a lot of practice and understand what is going on with cue after shot with different spins. And now in these schedules you can see comparison of all shots and in first step we can see big difference between shafts because when we use low deflection shaft then we are be able to apply more front hand English than using high deflection shaft. The biggest difference is visible on long distance and slow speed shots and when we using low deflection shaft and play low speed shot then each value of backhand English is not higher than fronthand English. And finally, if we play long distance shot and use high deflection shaft, then we should be careful using fronthand English because too high value can change path of cubal dramatically. Ok, and how we can practice and improve our backhand English and fronthand English? The best way in my opinion is set balls as you can see in this exercise and our goal will be apply BHE and FHE in one shot and play a stop shot. This will be great exercise to understand how many BHE and FHE you should use to make object ball because each wrong value and cue ball will go with wrong path and we will miss object ball. Ok guys, I hope that you learned a lot from this tutorial how to aim when using backhand English and fronthand English aiming system in pool. As you can see this is really difficult topic and require from us many hours of practice to understand many factors. Please consider to leave like and comment with your opinion about my vision of backhand English and fronthand English and I hope that this tutorial will help you in your practice. If you like my content then push subscribe button for more videos like this. Thanks for watching guys and as always see you in the next lesson. Take care.